So, the prodigal stepsister hath returned. <laughs> you do realize you're wasting your time with that college crap. I didn't go to college and I turned out just fine. In fact, I happen to be one of the most sought-after senseis this side of Japan. You know, perhaps a deal could be arranged. I agree to take you under my wing as my pupil for the summer, and should you agree that my teachings are far greater than your colleges, which I'm sure you will, you will convince that dreaded father of yours to finally move out. I trust we have a deal. Pleasure doing business with ya. Oh, one last thing. I'm married now, so don't mistake my kindness for something that it's not. Trust when I say Milady's bite is far worse than her bark. Hmm. Yo, sorry girl, Barbie's all sold out. A job? <laughs> Look, working at a movie theater is not all fun and games. We get a lot of weirdos in here. Uh, this one time, this guy came in with a body pillow. A total freak. <sighs> okay, let's see. Undergrad MIT School of Engineer. Forget it. Pop quiz! What's the greatest movie ever made? Wrong. It's super bad. Although, I would have also accepted Pineapple Express. Okay, age? Nice. Location? Sweet. That's next to my gym. Last but not least, marital status? Single. Well, as a system manager, let me be the first to say, welcome to the team. Name's Chris, but my friends call me Lou. Yo, some dude just like puked all over screen 10, like projectile vomited. It was so gnarly. <laughs> so like, I'm gonna need you to clean that up. Liv, Liv. Oh, sup, little man? What's with the new chick? She won't let us in to see Smoke Sesh 5. What the hell, babe? Don't be such a narc. Like, it's 2023. You can't be like ageist and stuff. Besides, when I was their age, I used to watch movies like that all the time, and I turned out fine. <laughs> you know what, little man? This one's on me. Tom, Go ahead. Thanks, yeah. Liv. Oh, wait. You know, like, next time I'm at the park, I'm gonna need, like, a discount. How about 5%? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, bad. Later, Liv. Look, I'm sorry for, like, putting you on blast in front of my bros back there. It's just like, I see all this potential in you. Like, maybe if you give up all that MIT nerd crap, you could be like, assistant manager one day. <laughs> Ugh, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks! Yo, sorry for like, spazzing out back there. It's just, ugh. I had this super romantic plan to ask you out, but this stupid employee handbook says I can't date staff. Ugh. I mean, like, hypothetically, if I were to ask you out, like, what would you have said? No way! Tied! Oh, damn! <sighs> if only you, like, didn't have to worry about that. Wait, babe, I've got it! Effective immediately, you no longer work at the movie theater. Yeah, that's right, you're fired. <laughs> But that's okay, because you've got a new role to play. The role of my girl. Come here, babe. Oh, oh, sorry. Where the hell have you been? I've been waiting in the backyard all evening for our training session. But alas, you didn't show. As a sensei, I consider myself to be stern but fair. Or go, I'm going to give you the opportunity to explain yourself. You're with your boyfriend? Since when do you have a Yo, boy- Yo, supple man! This Chad is your boyfriend? No way! That's the guy who always comes into the theater with a body pillow. He's your brother? Sorry. Her name is Mikasa, and she's not an object. She's my ex-wife! 
I'm sorry, I don't do this lightly, but I'm going to have to put my foot down and forbid you from seeing this scoundrel. Do you like, give us your blessing? I'll hook you up at the friends and family discount. Friends and family discount? Hmm. Mayhaps an exception can be made in this case. Well, I assume that that includes confectionery also. You, babe, hop in. Don't be like such a buzzkill. <laughs> you know, like, if you want to be my girl, you gotta get used to living life in the fast lane. I do stuff like this all the time. And. Who's out there? Babe! Run! Check, Chris! Boy, I told you not to be in my pool! What a loser. You want my glass? You gotta get yourself a real man. What do you say you come inside for a few drinks, honey? You, babe, I'm so happy you decided to be my girl. I know, I just like think it was your destiny to meet me. What's going on in there? I know someone's in there, I can sense you. Well, if you won't let me in, I will have no choice but to bust the door down. Whoa, chill, Oman. We're just like watching a movie. What movie? Uh, Pineapple Express. <laughs> That piece of crap. Never mind, I'm going to seek out Mother. Well, well, well. Looks like our training has paid off after all. I couldn't help but notice the bruises left all over that Chad boyfriend of yours neck as he left for work this morning. Well, judging by the noises that came from your room last night, I'd wager you gave him what for? Truthfully, I'm quite proud of you, pupil. With that said, it's not fair that you get to have all the fun. Or go, perhaps next time, you'd allow me to partake in his punishment. You! Mrs. LeDoux, these tennies are toy! Now I can, like, see why Dewey is so obsessed with them. That sensei to you, bucko! Whoa, chill on, Mom! <laughs> Well, thanks so much for, like, letting me crash here for a while. My landlord, Randy, is being such a narc. I only have, like, one kegger, and he's evicted me. Yes, most gracious indeed that mother and her boyfriend have allowed you to stay with us for a time. But know this. This family doesn't take kindly to worthless jagoffs in their 30s who just sit around the house all day. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Oh, hi! Uh, Chris told me to forward his mail to this address, and well, I was just in the neighborhood and thought, why not uh, deliver it myself? <laughs> oh, tell you the truth, I had a feeling I might find you here, and well, I was wondering if maybe you reconsider my offer to get those drinks, sugar. <laughs> Now, I know you with Chris, but I was thinking that, you know, a woman of your kind of class and sophistication, well, you must have needs that, let's just say Chris doesn't have the capacity to fulfill. <laughs> I was thinking we could go bluebird picking. I like to make jam. <laughs> uh, sometimes it gets messy, but <laughs> something tells me a lady like you doesn't mind getting dirty. <laughs> I'm missing the big game. Do we want to turn off his, like, Chinese cartoons or whatever? Last time, it's not Chinese, it's the anime. Well, my name is Sensei. How about them drinks, honey? Where are you? Silence! <laughs> I'm trying to play Baldur's Gate, and your infernal screeching keeps distracting me. It's over, little mom. Stacy left. Who the hell is Stacy? Your sister? Ah, the proverbial stepsister of sorts. Wait, what? Where is she? She's on a cruise with Rondi. Said she, like, needed to be with a real mom. Ugh. First he takes my pod, now he takes my girl! Ugh. God damn it! We barely even scratched the surface of our training. Well, 
Yeah, it's certainly the last time I take on an in-house pupil of sorts. Jim! Your mom said I can, like, still rent the room here. Maybe I could, like, be your new student. What? No. Why would Mother... Has everyone in this domain lost their minds? I know, Lomon. It's just like, all I can think about is getting revenge on Rondi. Plus, like, you've got this sick blade. Maybe you could, like, show me how to use it to scare him off or something. Loaf! No! Put it down! What? Hello, Dewey. Taint. Get back in the blade now. Trust when I say that this host's mind is too weak to handle an ancient demon. <laughs> oh, Dewey. So naive. That just means I don't have to worry about him. Breaking free. <laughs> he might be a Chad, but he's still a civilian. I can't let you do this. Huh. You are welcome to challenge. We'll see how you fare without your little blade this time. I'll see you real soon, Dewey. <laughs> Whoa.